Yo, yo, what up guys? Mike here owns Pressure Washing. I just put together a roof cleaning video, how to clean tile roofs. It's just 90% of the roofs down here in South Florida are tile roofs, so this is how I clean tile roofs efficiently and how I clean these tile roofs without burning any plants and things like that. So, um, not saying this is the only way to clean tile roofs, guys. This is just a few techniques that I use while I'm cleaning these tile roofs. And it's not the only way to skin a cat. So pressure wash police, please don't get all bent out of shape and get your panties in a wad thinking I'm doing this wrong and that wrong. I don't really care. This is what I do every, almost every day down here. And this is how I do it. Um, if you clean roofs every day, yes, I'll take constructive criticism. I'm always down for learning and things like that. So some people just like to hate, you know that. So anyway, I appreciate those of you that have been supporting the heck out of this channel. I mean, literally, I know there's quite a few of you and I know by name and you're always commenting, always uh, uh, liking the videos, obviously you're subscribed and that what that does is that helps this channel grow. So I, I am great, I am so grateful that you, for you guys that are always, always commenting, always liking, just being positive influences in this channel and on the Entrepreneur Facebook page. So... Don't worry about the haters, guys. Just get out there, make money. Don't suffer from paralysis by analysis. Take what you learn from these YouTube videos and go out there and apply it on your mom's house, on your aunt's house, on your brother's house, on your cousin's house. Who cares? Do a house for free. It'll help you get that confidence. And when you have confidence, you'll sell, sell, sell. So trust me, I've been there and I've had so much success this year just from doing this every day you start building confidence you sell like crazy on the phone you have this energy and customers can sense it and it's like a it's like a uh, supply and demand thing they like gotta have it so um, apply this stuff into your everyday business um, if not just enjoy the video oh watch till the end if you get worried about burning plants while you're washing roofs or houses if you're worried about burning plants and and you're a little worried about things like that watch till the end and uh, I put a few techniques that I use at the very end, how I don't burn any plants while cleaning roofs without gutters and especially tile roofs because they just, the stuff just can flow off of that. So watch to the end, get that tip. It'll help, it'll ease your mind about burning plants. And then uh, maybe comment below uh, something that uh, you might have burned in the past or, or, or uh, the biggest job you've ever had. So comment below, guys. Hope you enjoy. Take care. Remember, like, subscribe, comment below. Take care, guys. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Watch yourself, man. I don't want to get you. Look at it instantly changing. Instantly. Can you see it changing colors from there? Crazy. It's because it's so hot. And dirty combination.
All right, let's do some touch-ups. Let's go check it out down underneath for a minute. Get a drink. All right, so when you're doing your tile roof, you have your, you have the top right here, and then you have the face, which is right here. All right, so what I do is, to save on chemical, I hit on an angle like this from below and just aim for the faces right don't worry about the top yet when you aim for the faces they get treated then you can just come back you know keep going along and then it's simple because in a, like 10 minutes you might see some brown spots like on the top here and then it'll be very minimal and then you come back and you just kind of missed it and that's how you do a tile, you know. You gotta get your feel for it, but the main thing is you can't just hit the top, you gotta hit the faces too. See what I'm saying? I hit all the, and then you can just come back and miss it, because I already hit all the faces of all these. Good. And then, you know, it rolls down and treats the top, so obviously there's gonna be a little left over sometimes if it's really dirty like this roof was and uh you know there's some damage right there you always want to note that stuff too guys but there you go i had to sweep this roof off until i started because i forgot my blower Yeah, so we're pretty much wrapped up. Just gonna touch up some of these tops and uh, we'll be good. So, Alright guys. Right now we're rinsing the roof off this way. If it rains just a little bit, we'll be good. It won't, you know mist and then the dew will drip some sh down so what we're doing here is we're rinsing about half the roof and the reason why uh he's up on the ladder is because there's a lot of leaves and stuff that kept falling and sticks so he's knocking that off at the same time but uh the water coming down right now is diluted so and we're able to control the dilution and if it rained just a little bit we wouldn't and it could cause damage i mean if it rained really hard we'd be good but just to be safe, we're rinsing half the roof off this way. If it does rain just a little bit, most of the stuff is off the roof. Just to kind of, uh, you know, cover our butts a little bit. So, always be rinsing. ABR, always be rinsing. And then, uh, you can see here, we're pretty much done this roof. Oh well. Oh yeah. Nice and shiny. <clears throat> Came out good. Just took a while. It was a super dirty roof. Had to brush it off. I forgot my blower. Had to go around and get all the end caps. But yeah. <clears throat> coming out pretty good all right guys make sure you like subscribe comment below check these two videos out too we got two videos coming up right here and here check them out all right take care